everybody. Welcome to uh, Malibu. This should be uh, this should be a fun one, similar to another car I've done, but uh, with some key different uh, modifications. This one belongs to a guy named Reed, who actually uh, made the intro, our new intro that you saw, and he brought this out for me to drive. This is his 2013 uh, Golf GTI five door Wolfber Wolfsburg edition. Uh, and because he's uh, elected for me uh, to drive by myself, he didn't didn't really want to come along. It's cool with me, whatever you want. Uh, but he made me a sheet, so I'll just list off everything that's on it. It's got the uh, the Revo K04 Turbo with Stage 3 software. Uh, it's got an intake, a charge pipe, a turbo pipe, uh, a torque arm insert, front mount intercooler, uh, a new speed pulley kit, um, cat back exhaust, auto tech downpipe. Uh, Bilstein coilovers, uh, bigger anti-sway bars, uh, stainless steel brake, line, brake lines, new speed slotted brake rotors, front and rear with stop tech pads, H&R wheel spacers, uh, and Pilot Super Sport tires. But most importantly, uh, it has the Wave Track limited slip differential. When I went to Summit Point to drive their uh, K04 swapped GTI, it actually had an open diff, so it was big power. It was like 400 horsepower, but it uh, it couldn't really get it down. So I'm interested to see how this uh, wave track helps with that. All right, this thing is a bit of a sleeper. It uh, it looks fundamentally completely stock except for the slightly lowered stance. It's a, it's a DSG equipped car. And I bet it'll be fun. The question is, can it get all this power down? Or will we see torque steer and one tire fires? I suspect we will not. Wow, quick, very quick. That's impressive already. This is a fast car. Good grip. Pilot Super Sports. Ooh, almost killed a bird, but didn't. Caught a Subaru. That didn't take very long. I, I suspect this Subaru will not be letting me by. I'm just going to say that. Uh, these cars, this is, the, the GTIs are so interesting because, at least to me, I, I completely forget about them until I drive them. And then I drive one, and I go, oh yeah, the GTI! Because they're, they're, it feels like they're built nicely, and with these modifications, they, they go really fast, um, and, and they're nice places to be. I think, I think Clarkson said something like, a GTI is all the car you ever need. And that, that's got something to it. I mean, it's, it's got the refinement of a, of a pretty high-end car, uh, and, uh, and the fun of a hot hatch. And I'm going to use this opportunity to flip around because this gentleman is not going to let me by. And that's okay. Such is life. Ground clearance, all right. That was smart. Da 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 da. Sports modus. I want to see how it comes out of this corner. Oh yeah, it gets the power down. Not much torque steer. It's fast. modulate the throttle. It's got a real nice shove once you pass about four grand. Nothing really happens below three. Wow. Fast car. But the front end is going the direction that I pointed. That's really what you want out of a big power front, front drive car. You know, I drove that Scion TC recently that just wanted to steer itself off a cliff. This is fingertips. 
fingertips. Oh, it sounds pretty good. It's impressive. Oh, little wheel spin over the bump there. So it sort of uh, it sort of dies a little up top. Red line is seven. It dies around six, but from four to six, it's got really good power. We're gonna go this way. Oh, and that was definitely smoke from the brakes. <clears throat> Even with uh, apparently the pad and rotor upgrade, this thing's got enough power to uh, oh really really heat up the brakes. Oh, that yeah, that's. Not much brake pedal left. I guess that was uh, really enough to do those in, huh? Didn't seem like it, but I guess so. Give them a second to cool off. Oof. Wow, so I got about three minutes worth of a fairly aggressive braking before utterly destroying the brake pads. I'm sorry, Reed, but uh, I didn't see that one coming at all. Yeah. Great power though, but Reed said uh, before I got in the car that he wanted to get like a full Brembo, you know, monster big brake kit, but uh, he would have had to get some 19 inch aftermarket wheels and he didn't want to ruin his ride. And I, oh my God, sir. And I totally respect that. What are you, what are you doing? Like for real, what are you doing? Um, I, well, I can't sit there either. Um, <clears throat> getting busier out here. So he wanted to get a huge brake upgrade, but it would have involved going with 19 inch wheels. And because he drives this car every day, he didn't want to, uh, to ruin his, uh, his ride quality. And I totally get that because the car is pretty firm right now and I wouldn't want it too much stiffer than this. But man, when you've got this much power and you've already got upgraded brakes, pads, fluid, lines, rotors uh, in the stock size, Man, you might have to bite the bullet and go bigger or something because uh, coming back a little there don't you love how I say like oh this thing the brakes are gone and then I just continue <laughs> a smarter person might bail at that at that point but not I not Farah I'm, I'm committed to the end but the handling is really excellent. It's also got, uh, which I think I forgot to mention before, full chassis bracing, basically like subframe connectors and uh, <clears throat> in front, middle, and rear. So there's one that goes across the front, there's one that connects the front to the rear, and then there's one that goes right behind the rear seat to really uh, tighten up the chassis. Just funny when you have a Mark VI GTI, you don't even really think about that. But oh, all right. Don't know what that honk was for. Maybe he was trying to tell me my brakes are on fire. Makes nice sounds. Good Canyon car because you've got a lot of a lot of shove right in the mid range where you're actually using that power. At the racetrack where you're doing red line shifts every time you know it does die a little up top but for this kind of driving this thing is pretty good the chassis department and the power department yeah it goes oh look i've got brakes again excellent little cooling session and we were good there Oh, 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 that's a pretty hard load. Little rub there. And it's not my fault. That was the outside wheel. I was counterweighting there. This section gets really funky. Uh, it's, this is like my least sec favorite section of road anywhere in the canyon. So we're going to turn around again. This I'm sort of like driving all over the place on this one. Shut up, phone. All right, and we go back. 
what's weird is even though I was in manual before, it seemed to like upshift on its own. I don't, I don't know what that was about. Hey, I've got brakes. I've got brakes. This car only has 13,000 miles on it, which for a three-year-old car, man, does not drive very much. It's this car, it's, it's, it's sort of like a little mini GTR, actually. I mean, obviously, minus the all-wheel drive, the Golf R would be properly the mini GTR, but it's got the same kind of vibe, where it's easily accessible and sort of practical. Shut up, phone. Can't you see I'm driving here? Should probably put that on silent before I do one takes. Lots of grip, though. Good steering. But it's also, in, it's like the GTR to me in that I completely forget about it until I drive one, and then I go, oh yeah, that's why people get those. Oop. And these upgrades, like the dual clutch gearbox really, really complements the upgrades too because it can just get through that power band really, really good. And you've got enough gears and, and all that with the dual clutch that you can short shift just a little and uh, it's still perfectly happy to give you more power. Actually. It feels like it pulls even harder, like in third, than it does in second. Neat car. Really neat, but I think Reed's going to have to bite the bullet and get bigger wheels so he can do the Brembo brakes, because, uh, well, you saw why. Uh, I, you know, he's he's done what he can do, and so... I don't, uh, I don't, I don't think he's made poor choices here, but he, but he's gonna need more brakes because this car is really, really quick, and those brakes, uh, they get hot. So, <laughs> thanks, Reed, and uh, I appreciate it, and uh, thank you guys for watching. Shut up, and I'll see you later.